tell it from the mountaintop. I will go and tell it. I will go and tell it. Tell it from the mountaintop. Guys, welcome to the Story Lab and Merry Christmas. Ah! We're so close to the big event. Today, we're talking about how God announced Jesus' birth to some not so popular people in a super big way. Let's get hyped. Uh, hey guys, I'm Zeke. And I'm Carter. This week we're talking about Christmas, which is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. Whatever we're doing to celebrate better be worth waking up. We've got a guest today. Wait, Frosty? Nope, it's actually guest two. Hmm. Mysterious. Not really. Are they calling in? I'm calling them in. Hey y'all, let's have a round of applause for... Hey! What are y'all doing here? This is awesome! We never get to be on the show together. Too much brain power in one place. I just thought we all should celebrate together. Great idea! With our gift exchange. Whoa, didn't bring mine. Yeah, my gift isn't wrapped yet. Mine's still in the delivery package. Okay. That's cool. Everyone just take 10 and we'll meet right back here. In the meantime, What do we do? Just hand them over? No way! This is a rap party. Rap or rap? Both. You guys got five minutes. Do your thing. One and done. That's it? Oh, the bag is reusable. Save the tree. Excuse me, but there is more than one way to recycle. The funny papers. <laughs> I didn't know anyone still got a real newspaper. Yep, my great aunt Edna saves them for me every week. Carter, what's your wrap? 
working on it. Was it really looking for potato soup in my Christmas stocking? Show us how you're wrapping, Miss Perfect. I like to wrap with style. And there. What just happened? That is actual gift origami. How's that potato salad coming, Carter? Done. Oh, wow, potato stamps? That's actually really cool. Ready to exchange gifts? Let's do it. Unwrap party. Here we go. Yeah. What? I want to save this really amazing wrapping paper. Yo, <laughs> way cool. Yes. Awesome sauce. I love it. <laughs> Did we get each other the same thing? Uh, well, <laughs> it is the season. It's getting chilly out there tonight. Speaking of chilly nights, it's time for... The Story Before the Story. Today, we're in the first book of the New Testament. Matthew. God had a plan to bless the whole world through one family, the Israelites. But God's people kept turning away. At last, they were attacked by foreign nations. Even in this time of trouble, God spoke through prophets and promised to send a rescuer. Then, after hundreds of years, God sent an angel to an ordinary girl named Mary. Mary gave birth to God's son, Jesus, just as God had promised. Then an angel choir announced the news about Jesus to a group of humble shepherds. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Brian, and Christmas is a time when we remember how God's love is for everyone. On the night Jesus was born, there was a group of shepherds living out in the fields, watching over their sheep. <laughs> okay, guys. Why was the grumpy sheep grumpy? Um, why? Because he had a bad day. <laughs> now, shepherds played an important role in Israel at that time, but despite the shepherds' hard work, a lot of people just looked down on them. People thought they weren't very important. However, as these shepherds were going about their night, suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared before them. Do not be afraid. Great grazing sheep herds. Sweet baby lambskins. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy to all people. Today, in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here is how you will know I speak the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a huge group of angels appeared in the sky singing praises to God. May glory be given to God in the highest heaven. And may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. When the angels left, the shepherds ran off in excitement to find the baby the angels had told them about. Look for a manger. There's a bunch of mangers. Well, then we'll check them all. At last, the shepherds found baby Jesus, lying in a manger, just as the angel had said. Whoa, baby. You got that right. Well, let's tell everyone. We're spreading the news. The shepherds ran off and told everybody they saw the good news about Jesus. All who heard them were amazed. And eventually, the shepherds returned to their fields, praising God the whole way. Though people thought that shepherds were unimportant, God chose a group of shepherds to receive the most important news in history. So the message was clear. God's love is for everyone. The end. Wow. It's so cool how God made the shepherds part of the story even when everyone else was making fun of them. Oh, absolutely. So what's our part in the story? God gave us the most amazing gift ever by sending Jesus. When Jesus grew up, he showed us perfectly what it means to love God and love others. 
and then he gave us his life in our place. When we choose to accept God's incredible gift and follow Jesus, we will get to live forever with God. It is literally the best gift ever, and it's for everyone. That's right. Every single person is created in God's image. We were made for relationship with God. You can share God's love with everybody you meet. Starting with your family. Yeah, and your grouchy neighbor. The crossing guard. The teachers at school. People who look different. Act different. Or think different. <laughs> That's exactly right. Merry Christmas! <laughs> and see you next time. So, here's the thing. God's love is for everyone. And God gave us the most amazing gift ever in sending Jesus. Speaking of gifts, this is pretty great. And all of you are pretty great too. From all of us at StoryLab, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.